Hey guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption, and we are just gonna get started with the next mission. And I gotta go back to bed because clearly the missions are not available right now. <laughs> Bushwhacker? Who told you that? Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ha <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. You'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinet. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. It's like Ram Ranch. Dude. Scientist, a criminal, and a savage. They're taken to the <laughs> Ram Ranch. Trinity we make. S 16 Come, naked Stay cowboys, close. including, and the leader of it is Dutch. What the fuck am I saying? All right, let's go. Hey, listen, dude. Drugs are bad. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. <laughs> what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. Don't we kill the hunt buffalo. Eat, not for sport. Soon there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Oh my god. No, man. Species don't Get off die. of social they media, evolve. dude. Hunting in time will make the It brainwashes stronger. you. And don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Drugs do not do drugs. About the white man in general. Whoa, 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 that's a bear. Guys, can we, like, note it? Can we focus on the bear right now that's ch <laughs> that's chasing us? Don't worry about it, Professor. There's a bear back there, and he was going to eat us. I just thought you guys should know that. I don't think you realize the bear. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. 
I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot. Enjoy. Where we can climb okay, boost me, baby. I'm sorry, mister. Oh, he's so nice. Alright, boost me. Boost me, man. Thank you. He's like, I bumped into him and he said sorry. That was so nice of him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's like, check this out, I'm gonna go do parkour. Check this out, dude. John Marson's like, oh, all right, I guess. I'll just go see. <laughs> oh, great, man. Oh, great. No. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll do that, dude. You ruined my pathway. Can't freaking believe it, man. By the way, I have already played this part because I had to redo the video, but it, we're all good now, so... No! Ah, oh, you fucker! Dude, John Marston's, like, doing all the parkour right now. Look at this. You're John Marston parkour I think there's a path. That's your new name, John Marston parkour -y. Ooh. Dynamite? What? I got dynamite? Really? Dude, look at this. That's awesome. There's nothing down here. Excuse me. Damn it. We're trapped. What are we going to do? This way. I'm following you, baby. Whoa! Oh, dude! Nice, frickin' dude! You, oh, that was sexy. Oh no! No! Get out of there, my brother! You okay, buddy? I'm coming. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Is that a bear? Hold on. Is that the same is that the same bear that followed us? Yo, what's up, man? I'm just gonna go around to you. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Is it okay if I go around? Yo, chill. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Hey, chill. Oh chill! Hey! Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna skin these animals and then we're gonna move on. Uh, sorry if it's a sensitive topic. Oh! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Down you come. And I'm gonna go skin these animals. I'll be right back. Oh, and we're back. We killed and skinned the kitty cat. That doesn't sound right. Um, yeah. Okay, we're, we're just going to climb up these mountains, and we're going to probably see Dutch eating, uh, doing something. Fuck, <laughs> dude. I just can't get around this. Oh, bald eagle! Bald eagle! Where'd it go? What the fuck? Damn it, we could have had a bald eagle for breakfast.
I didn't get him? I got him now. There we go. Gonna switch to my uh, bolt action rifle. And then we're gonna see where this Dutch is at. Oh, there he is. The fuck, dude? Oh, whoa. Dutch looks fabulous. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. <laughs> then again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for the... <laughs> I feel bad for the Native American because he has to deal with this bullshit. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Why is he so mean to me? Well, I know why he's mean to me. But still, why is he so mean to me? That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitch them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. What about those innocent people that are out there? I got this bad for a reason. Nobody shoots until I say. Oh, dude, Don't the. Shoot. That man is a hostage. <laughs> Coming out. Let's kill the rest of them. Oh. oh, another one. Are they on the roof? Where are they? I'm trying to look for them. Oh, now they're coming out. Is one of them getting away? I don't. I can't see. It. Did they get away? No. These sons of bitches. Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. 
Oh my god. We can take them. Let's move. They'll cover the windows from up top. Get out my bolt action rifle cuz you know that's the best gun in the game. Marston, shoot the door open. How do you want me to shoot the door open again? Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to get the door open. Gotcha, ma'am. You're okay. You better stay away from these civilians. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Come on! We oh, shit, dude. I don't see him! Dutch is a what fucking psychopath! This is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. Mount up! You went this oh, way! Oh, my God. Dutch, why'd you shoot the girl? Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. Oh, wow. <sighs> I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Huh. Okay. Oh, the game's really lagging anyway. right now. Pull them in or army. Look, that's Dutch's car. Hurry, you can't have not, that That's Dutch's car? Jo Dutch has a car? That's fucking awesome. Uh, well, not, not awesome, because he's a total dick now.
Oh my god, why am I getting so... I feel so dizzy doing this shit. Oh, there's more? Owie! Stop it! What a Dutch just- I mean, uh, uh, I mean, what <laughs> what did John Marsh just say? Oh my god, that was funny. That was fucking hilarious, dude. I think that's all of them. Nah, th yeah, this looks like all of them. Go see what's over here. No Dutch, I'm guessing. Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> uh. Did all right. Let's talk to Mike Penis. Ah, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you want to such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! What? I was looking, I, uh, I wasn't listening, I'm sorry. Oh, are we gonna go meet the Dutch's gang? Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Yo! This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Fairclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> what? We're almost there. Are we almost there? No. No, we're not almost there. Never mind. That's Don't listen to me. Nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. That's no small relief to have the two of you along. Uh, that's a bear. It's a bear. For the love of God. Dude, why'd you? Sh why are you shooting the bear? No. What? You fucking idiot. Not. Why'd you shoot the bear? The bear wasn't doing nothing to you. That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. Perhaps you have some kind of
Where well, uh, I don't think let's I could we could just go here. He wants me to sit clo stay close to him, but I'm not. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us. We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I. Well, well, I well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What does he say, Sebastian? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it! Touch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! Oh no. I like that guy. You have to get us out of here. Stay down and keep quiet. You shoot like women. This way. Leave me alone in here, will you? All right, we're good. I think I've had about enough of field work for today. Try to return home, sir. I absolutely agree. Let's go back home. You don't have to tell me twice. I actually gotta get more ammo, so that's one thing we need to get. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at'll do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is aged. That's oh, more. Happening. Stop again. Just walk away. Dude, you took a bullet straight into the thigh. You okay, buddy? You took a bullet. I don't see anymore. Keep your eyes peeled. Giddy up. Oh my god. Five? You're gonna send five at us? All right, perfect. Let's go. I can't see any more of them. Come on, Professor. Let's get you back to Blackwater. I'd appreciate it if you would, Mr. Marston. I'm a shadow of my own self. <laughs> this guy is so funny. Oh, he is like a, he has two bullets in him. Whoa. Well, I can safely say that, that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Ah. I will never talk ill of you again! Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal! And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind, and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again! <laughs> okay. Where we're going, man? Is this it? Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Here, yeah, he's probably going to take a shot of cocaine instead. Okay, guys, that is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. It has been certainly... A weird adventure. I'm so used to being in Mexico in this game that I'm just like totally feeling weirded out of what's going on. Especially with the scientist. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace.